Hello, I'm Dennis Cometti. Tonight we're coming to you from the MCG. Well, if a green creature approached me from out of space and asked me to show it a good day out, I would, without a moment's hesitation, take it unswervingly to Melbourne. Gee, it's great to be back. Unpleasant humidity for this match. The player's sweating like Marlon Brando eating Thai food. Accompanying me is Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Tonight should be a great match. The Doc is set to take on the Eagles in this exhibition match tonight. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. We have the toss of the coin. West Coast winning the toss. The siren is yet to sound. They say all things come to those who wait, but I'm starting to wonder if anyone will be around to hear it. I'm excited for this one, Richo. Love is playing every game as if it's your last. Bounce goes the ball. Sandlin's punches it. McGovern is able to grab it on the half volley. Puts boot to ball. That kick was asking a bit much of Shuey. She, with a big bump to Mundy, gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Dio, a good crummer. Kirsten just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. The Dockers get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Well, getting his first. All is in readiness. Nice bounce. Deft touch from Matt Nui. Darling taps. He kicks quickly. Mundy with the pickup. He receives the handball. Gathered by Chi. It's boot to leather. Wins the handball. Marston kicks. Strong mark. Darling with. Controlled by Gaff. Gaff can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Johnson tackles him to the ground. The ball is scooped up. He slams that on the boot. Hill takes the mark. Fife looking to make them pay for that turnover. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Grabs the footy. Hits the running man. Takes the mark all by himself. Bumps the pigskin. McGovern gets the upper hand. He pumped that one. Takes that one strongly. Kicks into the forward line. Lecrack from behind. A chance to even the scores right here. Lecrack just manages to sink it. That's his first. West Coast sink their first. Lecrack has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He gives the ball away. Jenick feeds it wide. Marked by Blakely. Blakely has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He slams that on the boot. Yo gets the upper hand. Low spearing kick. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Marks. Oh, he's given that to up an almighty thumb. Gathered by Vardy. We'll have a look at the stats. 
Both teams are sitting fairly even on the board in marking contests. Much appreciated, Richard. The siren sounds for the second quarter. Winners don't wait for chances, they take them. Nat Nui with the tap. He gets his hands on the footy. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Blakely gets the tap. The ball in the hands of Fife. He'll get a free for that tackle. Far too high. Bumps the big skin. Nat Nui with the mark. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Marston comes away with the ball. Able to grab it on the half volley. Strong mark by Kennedy. 25 metres out. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't slot this one through. Pinpoint accuracy from Kennedy. West Coast have scored the last two goals. The Eagles by a goal. Kennedy is just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. Distance could be the problem. Jams it on the boot now. Great grab. Darling taking aim. 40 metres from home. Jams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Sandlands may not be the first guy you'd follow in the battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He gets it under pressure. Neil boots it. McGovern with the ball. Slams it on the boot. Nice contested mark by Wakely. Slams it on the boot. Nice hands. Kicks it across the ground. He takes an uncontested mark. His kicking is unbelievable. Some people don't go that far for their holiday. Johnson takes an uncontested mark. Kicks. Nice mark there. Boots it. Walters has it. Boots it. Great grab. Kirsten with a clinical drop punt. Nice contested mark by Theo. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Fife was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Yo, seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Cripps boots it. He claims the ball. Fife with the kick. The mark will be paid. Good drop punt by Johnson. Mundy looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. He misses the mark. Gathered by Redden. Hand passes. Was that the darling? What do the stats look like, Richard? Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. The Dockers on 17 and West Coast on 16. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. Eight to six. Enlightening, Richo. Well, I hope you enjoyed that first half. Back soon with half number two. The third quarter has begun. If you have everything under control, you're not moving fast enough. Nat Nui with the tap. Able to grab it on the half volley. Umpire not having a bar of that and signalling for a ball up. Sandilands didn't even get close to that tap. Got that one off just in the nick of time. Approaching the goals now. It's in the air. That was a huge kick. Malcolm Blake would be happy with that one. That's three in a row for the Eagles. West Coast in front by two goals with that score. Sheed got a really good footballing brain. Nat Nui taps. He has the ball. Dishes it off to the running player. Going for goal number one. Darling holds his breath. I can't believe it carried the distance. That's a great goal. Darling kicks his first. Darling has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Nat Nui gets the tap. Big man does nicely. Off the ground. He's running hot, Richard. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. A 30-degree kick for Clacroix. Ryan is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Shuey, with good strong hands, puts boot to ball. Sanderlands takes the mark uncontested. Neil dishes it off to the running man. He gets it under pressure. Puts boot to ball. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rule that one. Nat Nui gathers it. Shuey gets it out of the congestion. Burn feeds it wide. 
Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Gaff has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. Good mark. Maston with the tap. Gets it off the ground. He hand passes it. Johnson slams the ball to his boot. Good mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Nice mark under pressure. Kirsten puts it on the boot. A great effort. Bumps the big skin. Wins the hardball. Yo, he's been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Gray kicks the ball. Duggan with great hands. He boots it. He gets it under pressure. Gaff boots it. Strong mark by at five. Robs the pass. Intercepted. Finding the running player. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. Yep, Dennis, he is playing B grade footy. The Eagles have scored the last five goals. The Eagles relaxing with a four goal lead. Good tap from Vardy. With the ball now. An easy interception for Redden. He gets his hands on the footy. Kicks. Marks. Time to check those stats. The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. Three man or ten. West Coast eight. The Eagles have 37 kicks on the board and the Dockers have 32. Fairly close if you ask me. Enlightening, Richo. There's the siren for the final quarter and play is underway. Even when you play the game of your life, it's the feeling of teamwork that you'll remember. You'll forget the marks, the tackles and the goals, but you'll never forget your teammates. And the risk pays off. Goal. West Coast by five goals. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Guided by that Nui. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young, lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. Darling is streaming past and gets the footy. Approaching the goals now. Great mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell The ball is slammed towards goal by Kennedy. The Eagles lead the Dockers. Hamlin quitting to bring it back into play. Ryan has it. Bumps the big skin. Fife claims the ball. Fife has just got such an amazing leap that he can jump straight up onto the opposition's shoulders without using his arms. The mark will be paid. Nat Nui with the kick. A great effort. Jams it on the boot now. Hands like dinner plates. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Hill had no chance, but at least he made an attempt. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. Gray slams it on the boot. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Jams it on the boot now. Kirsten has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. He's having a ball. If you'll excuse the pun, Kirsten gets the important kick. It looks like they won't bridge the gap before this clock runs out. Kirsten may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. McGovern bumps. Almost perfect timing by Chewy. Hutchings delivers a nice bump for Sandilands. Five intercepts it. Good tap from Five. He gains possession. Kicked in a flurry. Dowling with the tap. Neil taps it. Gaff soccers it. He scoops the ball off the ground. He grabs it on the run. The crack with the mighty fist. Hughes gets the ball. Umpire not having a bar of that and signaling for a ball up. Sandlin's got a fist on it. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. 
Mundy has had plenty of it, Richo. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. Neil dishes it off to the running man. Intercepted by McGovern. Shuey lays it off to the running man. West Coast are victorious. The day you take complete responsibility for yourself, the day you stop making any excuses, that's the day you start your climb to the top. At the end of the match, the Eagles over the Dockers 37 to 12. Well, that's it. I'll let Richo say the goodbyes. Thanks, Dennis. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Until next time, goodbye.